Hey guys, I'm glad you're here. This is the second in a series, what is turning out to be a series, on how to involve children, specifically your grandchildren, in camping. Now the reality is these two girls uh, have parents who have a camper. So the only time that they go camping is in a camper. Have you ever camped in a tent? Nope. Nope, never before. Well, as it turns out, their grandpa, moi, happens to have a YouTube channel all about camping in tents. So, for tonight, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a makeshift tent, which would make a perfect fort, even for your grandkids, and we're gonna make it out of a king-size sheet, and uh, with some limb damage, uh, we're gonna set up some uh, some poles and ridge lines, and I'm gonna show you the whole process as, uh, as we get started on involving children in camping. Hit that subscribe button, and hit the thumbs up button until it turns blue. Welcome to Dan Tits. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to make these two poles be the main poles that support the whole structure. And actually, I've taken some cord and I'm going to make this the ridge line. So I want this little granddaughter here to stand right there. And I want this little granddaughter here to stand right here. All right. And can you hold that up? Okay, sure. Okay, good. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use these guy lines, which again is just more cord that has a, a couple of uh, knots on the on the back side. Just a, just a loop is all it is. And all I wanna do is guy this out. Oh, it's getting tight. So that it'll get tight. Exactly. That a girl, okay, hold on. All right. Now we're going to do the same thing on, on side. your side. Right. Now we'll tighten this one down. You can let go, Char. You can let it go, Char. Ta-da! We made a house. You made a house. Now we made a house, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now we're taking a king-size bed sheet, just a flat bed sheet. So here's what I'm going to do. Come a little closer. Come a little closer, cinematographer. This is the kid's mother uh, that's uh, actually f doing the filming. Say hi, hi mother. Marbles. Hi. Okay. All right. This is my marbles. Terrific. Okay. So what I'm doing is so that I don't have to poke a hole in a king size sheet or uh, or poke a grommet in it to tie it down. What I'm doing is I'm taking a marble and I'm putting the marble on the inside, just like this, right? So we've got the marble there, and then I'm taking a hair scrunchie. What's this called? Hair tie. A hair tie, okay. Taking a hair tie, and I'm gonna wrap it around there a couple of times, and then, and then after you do it a couple of times, then what we wanna do is we wanna tie it off, okay? Do we have a, uh, can you give me a, um, uh, uh, a steak? Thank you, ma'am. And then, We'll push that into the hair tie, and then we'll stab it down in the ground. That's exactly what we're going to do, sweet thing. So if we get a slightest bit of wind, it will not knock down our tent. Look at you. Dan, do you, do you have a YouTube channel on camping? Nope. Okay. All right. Do you, what, what's do you, your favorite YouTube channel on about camping? Oh, okay. All right. Just checking. There we go. There's one. Yeah. Do you like camping? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You usually camp in a camper. And camping in a camper is a lot of fun. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Steak. Steak. And of course it is. All right. We get go inside? Well, let's do one more. Johnny, will you go up and um, ask Daddy for a tarp? Uh, one of the uh, one of the grandkids down inside, right, Joe? You in there? Yep. You sure? Ow. Oh, yes. Okay, just checking. She's got a marble. She's pushing a marble out to me, and so what we're gonna do? Is we're it... gonna grab that marble and we're gonna twist it in the sheet, and then we're gonna tie it. That a girl. Okay. So that does that. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. All right. Hold on to that one. Then you know what I'm gonna have you do? What? Well, I'm gonna have you go back in. 
a little marble. And we're going to go to the other side. Now we're going to do the same dead gum thing. All right. How's that? So we're going to get blankets and we're going to get pillows and uh, we're going to get lamps and uh, we're going to we're going to take it for a test drive tonight. Uh, we are looking at the sky and we might get a little bit of rain. So we've got a tarp here that we can throw over the top of it just like this is and drape it over the top and we'll hold it actually with clothespins uh, onto the king size sheet. And uh, yeah, that ought to get us through the night for sure. But the next thing we need to think about is watching the rain, building a campfire because tonight we're having for dinner grilled cheese sandwiches for the kids and then we're going to pull out the pie irons and we're going to have uh, we're going to have some uh, and we're going to have we're going to have some s'mores in the pie irons with croissanto you're going to want to watch this one glad you're here s'more thing well andrew has put together a great fire out of uh, some great uh, dry wood he's got river rock for the uh, fire pit which is just a beautiful setup joni you think that's a you think that's a good looking setup yeah, good looking fire yeah. Charlotte, you feel good about it? Okay. Well, here's the thing. There is a good chance for rain uh, into the night. And so, uh, keeping in mind that we have uh, a seven-year-old. Is one of you guys seven? seven. You're seven? Okay. I do and, drink seven in the classroom. Okay. And we have a four-year-old. One of you guys? Okay. You're four? Okay. So, keeping in mind that we have a seven-year-old and a four-year-old, and we want them to have a good, a good first camping, tent camping experience, the concern of myself, the grandpa, and, and their father and their mother and their grandmother is that even with a tarp, this is not a good idea. Uh, this, if it rains, this will not be a good experience for those kids. So their My father... My stuffed animal is sleeping in it. Okay. So the good news is that their father was able to locate a, uh, a tent. And so uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to move everybody into the tent uh, from his friend. That's what we're going to do. And uh, that's going to work good. So, yeah, so the moms are, uh, the grandma and the mom are bringing down the um, ingredients for some grilled cheese sandwiches and for some s'mores. So we're going to get started on that. Okay, well, we've got, uh, we've got some pie irons here, uh, the ever, the ever uh, faithful pie irons, and we've got the ever faithful olive oil. And all we're doing is spraying this so that, uh, so that everything uh, works okay in here. Now, Joni, here's what I want you to do. I want you to open up the bread. Charlotte, give the uh, Charlotte. Will you hold this, please? And let's give the knife and let's have Joni butter the bread. Okay. I'm gonna butter the bread. You can butter it. Okay. Okay. Get that butter all over there. Until it dissolves. Can you do it? Yeah. Okay. I'm a grown woman. You are a grown woman. <laughs> Okay. okay now. All right. Now, no, we're going to take food. this and we're going to put it down like that. And then, why don't you give me a couple of pieces of cheese? Can you do it, Charlotte? Yeah. Have you buttered your bread before? Okay. Oh. Yeah, feel free. If you get some on your thumb, just lick it off. That's exactly what you do. Feel free to lick it. Right. Absolutely. All right. Now, let's let's take one. I'm gonna look, you lay it on there. Perfect. Like and then we're gonna lay another one on there as well. Okay. How you coming there, girl? Okay, now let me take the bread here. Alright. This is my favorite. And I'm gonna put this bread here. So this is my favorite. Okay. And then Ooh. we're gonna seal that down. So we're gonna hold it down here for, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. We're not really cooking it, all we're doing is just warming it. And the good thing about the pie irons, because you can continue to open it up, you can just keep flipping it until uh, it's exactly the way you want it. You know, you t you know your breath smells like butter. <laughs> Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. I think it's good. How's that one? Yes. That's how me and Char like it. All right, let's look at this side. Oh, that's perfect. Yes. Okay. And then we're going to flip this. And the butter makes it easier And to voila. Get off. Is that very warm? Huh? Yep. Okay, oh. now let's make Char one. So let's check it now. Let's check it now. You want to check it now? 
Does that look good? Yep, it's time. It's time. She says it's time. Ah! Ready? <laughs> How's that look? It's very hot. Be careful. Okay, show me what you got there, grilled cheese. <laughs> wow. Have you? Wow, that's a good looking grilled cheese sandwich too. Let's see what it let's see how how cheesy yours is. Not that cheesy. Alright, well let's think about uh, let's think about a s'mores dessert now. Okay, well now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some s'mores desserts. But here's what we're gonna make. The plan is we are going to make s'mores, but like a big version of s'mores and roll thingies. Okay, Croissant. yeah. Yeah, Oops. okay, so we're going to use the croissant dough. We're going to put the croissant dough down first, and then we're going to put that on the pie iron. And then what all are we going to put in the in the croissant dough? Thing? This is Nutella that I want to scoop with that knife. Okay. And this is marshmallow fluff that I want to I want to marshmallow fluff. Okay, great. All right. So what I'm going to do is... You can use a knife or one of those spoons. Okay, I'm going to use the knife here. And I'm going to do half. Can I do some? Do you know going to show us? It looks kind of cool, but okay. I'm going to do Can half like that. And then I'm going to take the marshmallow fluff. I want to try. Hold on, you're going to do the next one. Oh. I'm going to do this half. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one. On right. Okay. Can I do Can I paint this one? You can paint the next one, okay? Okay. Hold on, let's not paint them yet now. And can I paint it? You can paint one too. The dog I know got the drill of this. All right. So what we're doing is, we're gonna do this like this, and we're gonna do this like this, and we're gonna fold this over like mm -hmm. this, and we're gonna fold this over mm -hmm. like this, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna stick it mm -hmm. inside the pan like this, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so I uh, actually cooked for 30 seconds on each side for about two minutes. I just kept flipping it as I traditionally do. And voila, how's that look? So we take that. What is that? And see how it just slides right out? Oh. <laughs> and you have got yourself a chocolate oh, no. Nutella and, oh, no. and marshmallow fluff. Oh, and a marshmallow fluff s'more. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> Now it's very, very warm, so you don't want to eat it just yet. You think that? You want to grab one there, Charlotte, and see, take a bite and see how it is? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try some. Mm. Thumbs up. Okay, I'm going to try some now. All right, you want to take a bite? <laughs> it's called Seeing if JJ. That's a big bite. That's a bite. How's that taste? Okay, well, I don't know how well you can see this, but we got two kids on a blow-up mattress, and they're waving, and they're happy. And, and my blankie's waving. And the blankie's waving. Charlotte, are you awake or asleep? She's awake. Yep, she's awake. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we have got the fan blowing, and that's kind of nice. And uh, we're headed off to sleep now. We'll talk to you first thing in the morning. Well, all in all, it was a great night. Everybody slept well. I was over here on my uh, Thermarest luxury cot while the two girls started on this uh, queen-size blow-up bed. Uh, one of them was gone within the first hour. She said, I'm just too hot. And the other one was sound asleep and slept till 6.15. So that was a good, that was a good night. And so, uh, yeah, two of the three finished that's a oh that's a that's a passing grade on any on any scale uh for sure but uh, a good time with the kids and again just uh taking the opportunity to in introduce children to the outdoors even if it's just your own backyard well listen if you like the video click that as uh, as joni told you uh, at the start of the video click that thumbs up make it blue and of course uh Click the subscribe button if you haven't already. It's a free subscription. It really does help the channel grow. And uh, click the notification bell and you'll be notified every single time I post a new video. Thanks for watching. God bless.